so hi all uh, so today we are mainly going to see <coughs> in ansible uh, your ansible playbooks okay so as i said what do you mean by ansible playbooks so ansible playbooks are nothing but it's a yaml script okay it's a int markup language script its main job is like whatever we have done till now in ad hoc commands okay so those commands only will be there but you can execute multiple commands at a time okay it's like a script what we were doing in linux cell scripting will be there so same thing you can put in a single place and you can execute in a single shot that is what the concept of playbook so play, uh, playbook is nothing but if you talk about very simple language so playbook is just a yaml script right manojan <coughs> manojan you are there yeah yeah okay so coming back to the point so today we are going to see some of the scenarios how we can perform your actions means how you can perform your uh, action with the help of your playbook instead of going ahead with ad hoc commands right because all the time you cannot execute those command you cannot uh, remember those commands so what you need to do is so suppose this is your controller server this is your web server and this is your production server so till now what we have done is okay if you want to install something uninstall something if you want to restart a service if you want to deploy a application server or a web server or anything any configuration changes anything you want to do you want to copy a file to any of these agents from your controller you can use a single line command that is your ad hoc command correct but now yeah. if you can't remember all those things okay so what you need to do is suppose here just it's a one controller concept so might be this is for one reason if i'll talk about this is what this is your singapore reason so in singapore reason i have created one controller but if you have multiple reason so what you are going to do here also you will create a controller right yeah correct <clears throat> and you need to create a uh, means cluster kind of a means in case one is one node is down one controller is down so that the next controller has to be up and running correct <clears throat> yes so that is other concept but the thing is what i want to say here is it's very clear that for the other reason you are not going to execute that command again and again for all the agents if you want to start and stop some services so what you need to do is under this controller if i create some playbooks playbooks means what your yaml script with in this uh, yaml script is going to consist all the commands what you want to execute correct or all the services you want to install services you want to uninstall whatever you want to do according to your requirement you can put in a single script now the next time for the other reason if as of now this is a singapore reason same thing i want to do it in ohio reason so same script playbook you can copy from here to there right hmm. and there also you can execute the same thing no need to execute the commands right hmm. that is what we use playbooks okay understand one yeah okay <clears throat> so coming back yeah, how say one kind of cell script right yeah exactly it's a cell script only so it's in cell script is in linux but this is a yaml script okay yeah. yint markup language mainly used for your transmitting and storing data okay yml <clears throat> so here i'm going to take some example okay so i'm going to create a directory here just do a cd slash okay under your controller okay so uh, sudo mk dir because i logged in as a normal user so this is why i am using sudo okay so mk dir hyphen m okay i'll tell you what is this hyphen m this is also a linux command okay i am going to create a directory called playbook okay so understand if you want to create a directory just mk dir is the command right and the next time if you want to give full permission to the directory you will you will do chmod and triple seven right Yep. but if you want to do all these things in a single shot so this is the command in linux mkdir hyphen m is the option 777 enter so if you go and do so you can see it's given full permission as well as it's created the directory also right 
so these are some tricks in linux <coughs> so this is why i'm uh, forcing everyone not only you manbrajan so i am suggesting whoever is watching this video or will watch this video okay in youtube in other platform so they should learn linux first okay because that is more mandatory compared to yes cloud is mandatory but in term of devops you should be very good at linux okay fine <coughs> okay so just get inside to this playbook ls nothing is there right so i am going to write a playbook here sudo vim okay and play book dot yml okay fine <laughs> inside this one <coughs> i'll explain each and everything so i'm going to start with a very simple uh, uh, playbook okay so what i'm going to do is just understand this one you need to give three hyphens one two three it starts with three hyphen playbook like every other docker file starts with there is a syntax right from right one one hmm. yeah so here also in playbooks it should start with three hyphens okay so these three hyphens are nothing but this is a starting of your playbook like in shell scripting you start with hash symbol right hash bin bash yeah. symbol, correct so same way in uh, playbook uh, yaml script uh, you need to do it like this okay now the second thing is hyphen space host hosts colon okay give space host means where you want to push okay so you know you have two servers do you have two servers means you have two agents in place that is one is your web server other one is your production server right production okay fine so what we need to do is if you want to push it to your web server or if you want to push it to your production server so this means host means where you want to push you need to mention that one okay so <clears throat> uh is any services we have not installed here we'll see okay so just start this one okay so here yeah. just want to see that httpd is installed or not okay i am just checking in this agent httpd service okay showing nothing let's see me here <coughs> sorry It's showing nothing is installed, right? <clears throat> Fine. Or check any other services also. Git also you can check. Whatever service you think that it is, Telnet also you can check. Telnet. Okay. Telnet is not installed. Okay. Suppose if you want to do Telnet, Telnet. Okay. And local host. Nothing. Right? Just okay. check Telnet. multiple services are there vs ftpd is there for ftp right so yesterday we have used in production server if you remember correct yeah for if if i'll go to this particular folder okay uh, manoranjan if you remember properly production server right yeah take the ip of this one okay just do ftp correct and so you can see it stopped i think uh, we need to start the service okay services yeah yeah so in production or in which one we have installed production only or web server production <coughs> okay so might be we have uninstalled yesterday okay so what we are going to do is we are going to install that vsftpd in your web server by use of your playbook okay fine yeah fine fine so coming back to the controller 
so host where you want to push where you want to push you want to push to your web server correct yeah <coughs> okay come down okay just same one space become colon space means become is nothing but you want to execute it as a you want to give as a root privilege that's what i said in ad hoc command also correct yeah. so that should be true okay means you want to execute with correct with yeah. root enter space okay now the next one is become so in become we are not using that one which yes. one no like host you put no 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 okay. this is a syntax that's what i am telling so very careful while writing the syntax okay colon space so uh, sorry become underscore user okay colon space so become underscore user colon space means from which user uh, we need to give okay this is become true means you are giving root privilege okay so who is that user then root only correct yeah correct <laughs> root <clears throat> now coming back to the next you need to give okay hyphen again this is a different syntax okay now next yeah. as you in, just think according to your ad hoc command okay so first part what you have done is under host you have given host where you want to push become is nothing but e, where you want to uh, sorry root privilege and become underscore user means user name we need to give here okay now the second thing is name okay yeah. name colon space so this is just this is nothing to do with command you are just mentioning okay what you want to do here okay so install install the package which package vs ftpd or you can mention ftp also that is a service so vs ftpd is the package okay yeah. enter yeah. next thing is which module yum correct correct okay. you need to use a module right you are installing then you need to use yum module correct yum again name equal to okay which package was there okay vsft pd okay space state equal to you want to install right yeah present so it should be present correct now the next thing is what you need to do is mm. again <coughs> enter hyphen name space hyphen name okay colon space what you need to do you need to restart the service correct restart the service correct coming back so for service what is that module manranjan ad hoc command i have explained right yesterday service restarted colon service yeah service started. and then you need to give the name of that service right syntax you should be very careful okay yeah. v s f t p d okay space state equal to so here but, uh, no need to we execute are using service hyphen one minute we are using service hyphen a right but you are not using a here that is ad hoc command that is attribute here okay. we are using playbook if, if you make it everything similar so there is no point of mm -hmm. writing a playbook right this is the format this is the syntax okay. you need to write okay so <clears throat> state okay so it should it state should be what restarted restarted okay done <clears throat> now what you need to do is you need to just <laughs> save it Yeah. so you have saved your playbook okay now you want to execute okay 
check the playbook again so this is your playbook okay okay this is your playbook right so i am taking the duplicate session again okay so it says you are going to push on web server what package you are going to install that is vsftpd this is the module VSFTPD. name okay and uh, what service you are going to restart okay that is vsftpd correct that's what we need to do yeah okay fine so as a next point before yeah. pushing or before pushing it to your agent mean to your web server before installing or this is what we are pushing right correct and civil is what mm. push technique push push technique correct so before pushing it to your web server or production server any server okay what we need to do here is in playbook you need to check the syntax means the playbook you have written you need to check the syntax so how we can check that mm. one your syntax is correct is not so ansible okay hyphen playbook okay mm -hmm. and you need to give the playbook name enter see it's telling yum is not a valid attribute for a play okay so you need to correct each and everything okay and it's telling become underscore user okay that is also <clears throat> not correct the off of offending line appears to be become hyphen name install the package vsftpd okay okay so let me check this one we'll open this one again vim playbook playbook to to ml written this one <coughs> let me check the syntax okay hmm. okay got it okay so why we were getting that error is okay so what you need to do is syntax wise so it should come inside your host okay it should come inside your host one second you need to use sudo okay So if you see here, it's clearly written. It should be inside this one. Okay. So this is the syntax. <clears throat> so okay. and there is something Once also yes then hyphen right yeah so it should come under like uh, curly braces braces in whatever language we write right loop inside a loop or something it should be inside that same way here also okay that is fine <clears throat> there is also one term i just wanted to introduce here so something called task okay colon so you can see i have mentioned here i forgot to mention here there so task are nothing but task are also actions task are nothing okay. but task are also action means action means what so you are performing a action means you are installing the package right you are restarting the service and you are using the module yum and and uh, service right these are two modules we are using here right so it should yeah. come under your <coughs> task. Uh, task only okay later on i'll show you uh, some different things will be there also i'll mention on that as well okay Hmm. any doubt manojit no okay 
so that's fine so we can use task also uh, we need to use task here okay because that is very much important here so if you mention task so task is like a handler okay or you can say it's actions because in coming uh, sorry in uh, coming uh, next playbook if i'll write there i'll use some handlers okay yeah fine yes okay so let me execute once again just use that same syntax so we are getting line 2 this time so what is that posts task is not evaluated no no not task it's because of different see if you see the error it will be worst web server yeah okay so <clears throat> web servers but uh, no no that is fine this is nothing to do with that one. posts is a okay so there is a mistake here okay <clears throat> if you are mentioning task so it should be s okay task okay that is not a single task okay it's a task just check that syntax again yeah so you can see it's yeah okay sorry so one thing i forgot to mention here so <clears throat> if you want to check the syntax okay so that what we were doing as of now i have installed it okay so this is the command to install directly to your web server so here you can see clearly it is said okay to means it is installed <laughs> means vsftpd is installed in your web server okay web server and it's restarted the service also hmm. correct so if you go here okay and uh, what is that ip of this one web server this one okay 44 okay okay so we need to check the security group as well okay that is fine <clears throat> so it installed but what I, if you want to check the syntax okay so there is a uh, extra thing you need to add here is hyphen hyphen syntax okay okay hyphen hyphen syntax hyphen check okay so you if you are getting like this then that is correct okay but if you are directly executing also then also you'll be getting some error here understanding manranjan my point yeah i got it okay so <clears throat> this is what uh, we can create a playbook we can if you want to check the syntax then before executing the playbook then you need to use ansible playbook playbook that app playbook whatever you have written and you need to give hyphen hyphen syntax hyphen syntax check. hyphen check, check. Yeah. and then you need to go ahead with this one uh, if you want to execute that script okay so web server it is already installed okay uh, 
uh, it seems to be some other issue. Let me check. Okay, it's the security group. So, so it should be created. If it is installed, then it should be created the directory. Correct? Yeah. Where FTP pub, <clears throat> if you remember, correct? Yes. Okay. So CD where FTP correct in pub. It oh. means it's created, right? Yeah. Correct. <coughs> if I do local host FTP, it won't give because you need to install FTP also. Okay. If mm. you because FTP itself is a package. Okay, so if you want to see it from outside, okay, so first install that package. So I'm just executing a single line command. Okay, uh, that FTP will work. Let me take the duplicate session of this production server as well. Okay, coming back to here. Okay. So first we'll see web server security group. Go to inbound. It is telling allowed, allowed, allowed. Edit. Anywhere. Here. Anywhere. As of now, because we are accessing public IP. Okay. So you, I think we need to install the FTP package only. Then only it should work from outside. Also. <coughs> okay. So if you want to install that same thing, what we need to do here is, so we are going to create another playbook here. Okay. So in okay. this one, let's check that FTP is working or not. Hmm. Connection refused. Okay. Hmm. Means but FTP is installed in this server. Okay. So uh okay go to the controller if you want to include everything here only okay so same playbook you can edit okay vim okay so you understand here what you need to do is again you need to give one more package ftp correct you can tweak right here yes. name and install ftp one it will install first it will install your vs ftpd service sorry day one package and then you next you mention ftp so it will install automatically right mm -hmm. correct so yes. i'm going to take same thing okay so i'm not going to execute any ad hoc command understanding my point Manojan? yeah okay just come out of this one just take another sudo vim playbook one okay okay insert give paste okay go here mm -hmm. okay escape dd dd okay you just want to install what you just want to install ftp ftp package Okay. Hmm. Correct. That's it. Yeah. Everything will be same. Yes. <clears throat> How we can check the syntax? Ansible. Ansible hyphen playbook. Hmm. Playbook one dot yml. Okay. Spaces hyphen hyphen syntax hyphen check. <clears throat> it is completely fine. It's not throwing any error, right? Yeah. Let's remove this thing. Okay. okay, for run only we have to remove that syntax check, right? Yeah, correct. So it is installed now. So if you do FTP, okay, localhost. <clears throat> okay, you need to start the service also. Okay. Hmm. So 
<coughs> just edit this one okay yeah we start we restarted ftp the service this is just a name okay after this okay. you need to give service colon <laughs> name restart equal to restarted <coughs> sorry name equal to ftp right Hmm. state equal to restarted restarted correct yeah okay so just uh, check the syntax it is correct okay no execute okay hmm. then you can do yeah ftp local host We have to see to web server on it, right? A web server. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that might be because of connectivity issue. Okay, that's fine. Not an issue. That will work. Okay. So I think it's because of DNS issue. Okay, man. Then it's happening with my DNS problem. That is my DNS issue. Okay. So it okay. it should work. Okay. Again, I need to disconnect this uh, network and uh, restart my mobile. It should work. Okay. Because now mm -hmm. yesterday it was not connecting with your Google or something. You remember, right? Yeah. If I connect with some different mobile uh, Wi-Fi, it will work. It's not an issue with this. Okay, it should work. Okay, <clears throat> so we can connect with other uh, mobile network, then it will work, or any Wi-Fi, it will work. Okay, that that doesn't okay. uh, have an issue. So this is properly working. This is installing properly. Okay, fine. So this is what we can uh, do the, sorry, so we can uh, uh, do the installation or is starting a service by use of your playbook. Okay. Playbook. Correct. Yeah. So in yes. playbook, we have discussed about the only scenarios will be different. Okay. Rest all syntax will be exactly same. There is no difference in syntax or something. Okay. So here what I'm going to do is. I am going to install the Tomcat server. Okay. Okay. So we can deploy a Tomcat server. So that we can do it <clears throat> by use of your playbook. Okay. So <coughs> I'll write it down the entire syntax. Okay. Hmm. And then we'll see. 
and uh, because uh, if you want to deploy on top uh, on top of your tomcat if you want to deploy your application dot war then you need your application dot war file you remember right yeah because i have already terminated those instances here so again i need yeah. to create and i need to do each and every okay so as of now i'm going to show you only how we can deploy a tomcat okay to your production server same thing you can deploy your jenkins also whatever you want to deploy you can go ahead and deploy with this uh, particular <clears throat> okay. or else what i'll do is okay <clears throat> today uh, i'll create that war file okay give me some time okay only one more extra day it will take because pavan will also come tomorrow okay mm -hmm. so i need uh, because if i'll go and deploy each and everything hardly it will take more than one hour right right so i can show you at least the entire thing right like we have done in docker file correct okay. on top of your tomcat uh, we have deployed your address book dot war right mm -hmm. so same thing we can do it with your ansible as well from this playbook okay okay so <clears throat> i'll create a war file of your application tomcat i'll download okay mm -hmm. so and we'll perform the same action tomorrow Okay. Okay. So now let me download here only. Okay. Double look at. I am downloading the Tomcat first here. Okay. So just Google it. Hmm. Last time we have used Tomcat eight, right? Yes. <clears throat> so this is the core file. Okay, tar dot gz. Okay, just copy this link and put it here. Okay, just okay. is it still connected? It's downloaded or not? No, four not four. See, four this is why I'm telling. Right? You understand this one? One second. User. Yes. No, it's not because of user. It's because of uh, DNS issue. See, yeah, we have allowed everything here, right? That's what mm -hmm. I'm telling. If I'll connect with other server, uh, sorry, other DNS, other mobile network or any other network, it will start working. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are ending up the session here only, Manvendan. Okay. Okay. We'll continue tomorrow.